Hello. Welcome to this presentation that shows how to check the tiny proxy configuration on the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Management nodes supporting Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control. Under some circumstances, a request to deploy a server through the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control self-service portal can fail because the particular port used in the process is closed. Tiny Proxy, which is a lightweight proxy server, can be configured to avoid this failure. It is a good practice to check the Tiny Proxy configuration when setting up Oracle Enterprise Manager. First, you determine the connection port used on the server running Oracle Enterprise Manager. Then, make sure the port is configured for communication on both Oracle Private Cloud Appliance management nodes. Let's see how to take care of this task of internal network configuration. I'm logged into the Oracle Enterprise Manager host server as the user Oracle. We want to see the HTTPS upload port configured for the Oracle management system. To do this, enter an EMCTL command line interface, or CLI, command. The location of EMCTL might be different for your installation, depending on where the Oracle Enterprise Manager was installed. However, for this installation, I'll enter the full path to EMCTL. U01 app EM middleware bin. The command EMCTL status OMS minus details minus sysman pwd and the sysman user's password and pipe the output to grep https upload port. The result shows the https upload port is 4903. The next part of this procedure takes place on both management nodes, although you see only one management node in this demonstration. The terminal now shows an SSH session started as root to the active management node on the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. The session connection was made using the virtual IP address for the management node cluster. The active cluster master is OVCAMN05R1. To check the connection ports in the tiny proxy configuration on the management node, check the configuration file. Enter the command grep4903 of the file etsy tinyproxy tinyproxy.conf. The result shows that port 4903 has been configured as a connection port. However, if port 4903 is not present in the configuration, then use an editor to add a connect port directive for port 4903. This slide shows a few connect port directives as they appear in the tinyproxy.conf file. If you make a change to the tinyproxy.conf file, you must restart the tinyproxy process for the change to take effect. Also, be sure to check the tinyproxy.com file on the other management node. Finally, on each management node, check IP tables to make sure the connect port, in this demonstration, 4903, is open. Enter the command service IP tables status and pipe to grep 4903. The IP table status result shows that port 4903 is configured to accept any connection. However, if there is no rule for the port, then you must create one. Issue the command service IP tables status. The rule for port 4903 is one of 21 rules configured. The new rule should be added to the list of rules already in place, so determine the next available record in the input chain. To add a rule for the connection port, use the commands shown in this slide. After entering the rule, save and reload IP tables so it can take effect. Be sure to complete this review and configuration as needed on the other management node. You have seen how to determine the HTTPS upload port for Oracle Enterprise Manager, and you have seen how to make sure the tiny proxy configuration on each management node is set up to use the specified upload port, and you saw how to check IP tables. This ends the demonstration. Thank you for watching.